In 2018, an AI programmer approached us to save the world. This do we know that what he actually wanted was for us to deal with the opposition to his own plans. Now we have a clone cyborg army, a Russian nuclear submarine and an evil AI gunning for us. And we are the only ones crazy enough to stop them. We're not heroes. We are Final Boss Fights. Online is like they're just so used to this shit. <laughs> just like another day at the office for them. It's literally like they just they just like grown in <laughs> like oh guys going on a rampage with a tank. Oh never mind. Oh uh, never mind, yeah. Thursday, is it? Oh yeah. Bro. <laughs> Sorry, I'm driving one handed. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Aim for the road. I'm what do you think I'm doing, John? <laughs> oh, Drew. <laughs> oh, Drew. Oh, oh, Drew. Oh, oh Drew. Oh, Drew. <laughs> Just like to point out, I haven't flipped yet. You came very close twice. <laughs> yeah, John. 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 But the difference is, close is not the same as doing. Do or do not. There is right. Just let me know if there's any major turnings coming. Major turning! Major turning! Drove! 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 Okay. Drove! <laughs> drove! <laughs> this is going to be fun Get on in. the video. Bloosh! Drove! <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting in. I'm well, not... You started, why you am started I... the animation. You why started am the animation. I not getting in? You had started the animation for getting in. That's why I started driving. <laughs> Uh, I think we need to lose the heat, so I think you need to stop shooting all the people or call Lester. Uh, that's a point. I can't call. Am I able to call Lester? You should be able to call Lester because it's not a mission. Am I? Am I at the right level for calling Lester though? It shouldn't be. It's like a level ten. Yeah, I'm guessing not you don't want a background. Relative. How can I? There we go. Dumb. Yeah, hey, Lester. It's um. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, <laughs> Major turning. Avoid the yeah, tree. Yeah, I was aware of it. I was trying to get the stuff like copper from like driving up the backside, mm. if you don't mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sean! Get back in! I'm <laughs> trying! <laughs> right, John. We're going to do a quick switch. Alright. Uh, uh, remove wanted level. I've done it, I've done it. Oh, you need to remove your wanted level. Yeah. I didn't think you were going to get in that seat, but sure. Well, nor did I, but... <laughs> you decided up a You know what? I don't want to go in the gun anymore. <laughs> well, that's probably better, actually, because that probably means I can't flip you out of the truck. You say that now. <laughs> I say that now. Hey, but... John, how am I outside? Of... No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran up to Newcastle and pressed the Y button. Oh, by the way, I got struck by lightning and some chemicals at my ESI labs. He was in a coma for nine months. But it was a very quick nine months, because I'm the Flash. I mean, I'm not the Flash. Yeah, but to be honest, the number of people who know he's not the fl who know he don't know he's the Flash at the, at the end at the beginning of the season one, and the number of people who know he don't know he's the Flash at the end of season one is a very big num very very big difference. I still think. The best thing for like finding out who the Flash is is Lex Luthor in that episode of the Justice League cartoon. I was just about to say this. Did you guys watch the Justice League cartoon? No. Oh. So they they did an episode of the Justice Prep League complete. cartoon where uh, Flash and Lex Luthor swapped bodies. All right. I think it had something to do with Brainiac. Oh, I remember no, talking. no, it was, it was it was magic. I think it was. Well, something caused them to swap bodies, and um, and uh, Lex Lex was in the Flash's body on the Watchtower space station, and Luther was in. And, and uh, Luther's body was in. Luther's body was being inhabited by the Flash in the um, 
Legion of Doom. Legion of Doom lair. Hi, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Bye. You were so I, close to I'm getting Jeff. I'm dropping for armor. Actually, yeah. Uh, there's your car back, Jeff. Thank you. Oh, wait. It's just... Oh, okay. So John vanishes from the car and... I got oh, out. Stuck up on snacks. Oh, did you? I got out. Oh, it's like being vanished from the car. Um, but yeah, basically... Uh, I don't know why I'm coming into base. I require snacks. Shall I, shall I finish the story, John? Yeah, please finish the story. Lex decides that he's going to find out who the Flash is, so he runs into the bathroom and takes his mask off and goes, Ah, now I know the Flash is... No, 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 he goes... Oh, well, at least the, 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 the least I can get from this day is I'll find out who the Flash is. And he takes off the, the, the hood and he looks in the mirror and he goes, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> Because why would you? Um, I mean, the other one I quite like is the one in uh, when the Thanagarian War is happening in, in the cartoon. Oh, what? Well, um, like, yeah. Yeah, and they've all got to go. They go. Uh, Batman's like, oh, we've got to. Um, you you've know, got we've got to go into hiding. And, you know, they're expecting all of us to be superheroes, so we've all got to go in our secret identity. And the Flash is just like, oh, are you sure that's safe? Like, you know, we'll all find out who each other is. And Bruce Wayne just, like, Batman just goes around and is like, Wally West, Diana Prince, uh, John Stewart, and, like, just points everyone out, like, Wally West, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that clip, actually. That's really good. <laughs> but, um, if we're talking about the, the one, can I complain about that one thing from the season, John, that really annoys me? Uh, sure. So, um... There's a, a, you guys are watching the TV show. Which one, sorry? I watch Flash. nothing. <laughs> I'm still partway through season two of The Flash, so I don't mind either way, so okay. carry on. No, no massive, it's not a massive spoiler or anything. I'm not, too, I'm not too worried about that, actually, so carry on. Right, okay, basically, there's an episode where they come to the metahuman who can uh, take the powers from one person and give them to someone else. Um, and during, due, due to uh, a kerfuffle, uh, Barry Allen uh, is touched by this mere human and gets his powers transferred over to Iris. Oh yeah, that's that, that's about the big thing for that episode, wasn't it? That's not a real spoiler. Yeah. So he spends the yeah he spends the basically they spend the entire episode like swapped around. Iris is, is the Flash. Flash is sat there at the desk. But there's this like really weird scene that I find at the end of it. And bear in mind at this point, you know, you've got um, on the team you've got Joe West the cop, who's like yeah. a, obviously a hero cop of of Central City at this point. Um, you know, you've got Iris, who is the newspaper reporter, and is also probably quite well known. You've got um, Cisco and Caitlin, who are superheroes at this point. Yeah. Um, That's not my phone ringing, is it? Uh, no, sorry, that was me. Oh, uh, I will be right back in my two seconds, I better go take care of that. Sorry. I will so, finish my, my rant. I mean, my big rant about that episode is that uh, when Iris runs real fast, her lightning's pink. Because Iris is a girl. <laughs> girl! <laughs> okay, so we're done with all the preps, we've now got to do the setups. Um, okay. So we've got Rescue Agent 14. Oh, hit that guy. Uh, Escort Alp. Alp. Uh, intercept an arms dealer's air convoy and take down a heavy lift chopper to recover a barrage ATV. Do that last. That's these cars, actually. Destroy the supply of an enemy's weapons at the scrapyard in the Grand Sonora Desert to steal the Kinjali. Sean, are we in a proper world that's not going to collapse if we leave it? It's a proper world. Cool. The world that exists. Uh, so, Agent 14? Yeah. We've got to head to the Pacific Allied Shipyard and attempt to purchase Agent 14 from Merriweather. Sounds like slave trading. <laughs> You have been invited. Invited. I've been invited to a mission. 
Um, and we've got to go rescue him from Stone Cold Steve Austin, apparently. <laughs> So, I would say, turn to chat and say, so, how are you guys doing? But they don't appear to be here right now. Sorry, I, I just lost you there. My Discord is really playing up. Hello. Speak. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yep. Welcome. Um. I can hit you again. Yeah, what? that's what you guys were coming through like for me. Yeah. Um, Confirm so, settings. So, um, can I can I finish my 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 flash thought? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So basically, um, they spend the entire episode. Iris is flash. Flash is not flash. Flash uh, is the man of the laptop. Yeah, they are. Um, ooh, I'm gonna go with the invisible. Um, but yeah, and then they bring like the the met human back, and clearly they they show like you know that they've explained to him what the situation is, and and he's all like, oh I'm so you know oh I'm so sorry, like I didn't mean to do this, and as like it pans out, it shows that everyone is in like their regular gear except for Barry who is fully dressed head to toe in his flash costume. <laughs> and it's and he's and and he goes like, "Oh, if you want, I can switch back your powers, uh, you know, the powers the other way around and get it fixed." And Barry goes, "Uh, Iris, my darling sweetheart, love of my life, I love you so dearly that if you want, you can totally take my but you can totally have my speed powers if that is what you wish." Um I'm I'm totally fine with it because I love you and what's mine is yours. He doesn't say this literally word for word, but essentially along those lines. I was going to say um, this is a bit exaggerated, but <laughs> I don't remember yeah. that from the episode. But yeah, he we he, look he, cool. He says, he, he says something to that effect, um, and then he goes, and then uh, Iris is all like, "Why do I have a oh, duffel no. bag?" Iris goes, Iris goes, not why do I have a duffel bag? Because that would be really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a duffel bag. <laughs> and Iris Can goes. I'm happy to give someone a lift. I'll get a lift with I'll get a lift with Drew. Um, well, I know rescuing Agent Annoying is going to be great, but Mrs. Rackman here says we have to do it. Guess paid. And Iris goes. Iris says, "Oh no, Barry, you can you can have your powers back. I thought about it for a second, but they're, they're right with you." Whereas in in my mind, that conversation should have gone, "Darling, sweetheart, love of my life." I um, I don't. I, I you can have my powers if you wish. And I should have turned around when you are dressed head to toe in your costume. No one else is. You've let everyone else have it. Oh my god, it's a different No, it's not. Sorry. Um, yeah, like you know, why why is it that you're dressed in the head to toe in a flash costume if you're so like not concerned about getting your powers back? Whee! And like, why is it you? Why is it you're the only one whose identity is like so important that we have to protect? Yeah, it's because like everybody know he's the Flash by now. Well, it's not in that. It's like literally everyone else in the room is not allowed to like wear their costumes. Like Cisco, Hero, um, Joe West, Cobb, who probably would be in trouble for working with them. You know, these are quite recognisable people that are not putting on a mask. Whereas Barry Allen at this point, oh no, actually Barry Allen would be recognised. But, um, I mean, to be yeah, fair, at some point he's going to be recognised for his lack of being there. <laughs> like, you've got all these other people that associate with Barry Allen. His wife, his adopted dad, his friends from Star Labs, and then The Flash. And it's just like, well, it's kind of that thing of how does nobody notice that Superman's Clark Kent by the fact that... No, if you if you really want how does nobody know Superman's Clark oh, Kent know that. flash thing. Well, it's the fact that he always is, is late in the comics and no one ever goes like, isn't it really weird that Barry Allen's always late whenever the Flash is doing stuff? <laughs> yeah. But he's always late anyway. Well, I mean, like, that's the thing of it. Is it's like, unlike Clark Kent, it's not like he does it to hide his secret identity or anything. He's, he's just, just fucking bad at timekeeping. Yeah. Oh, it's just the running gag that the 
fastest man alive is always late. But still, it's like nobody ever really goes like, Flash was saving a day and Barry Allen just showed up late. Huh. <laughs> I still think one of the best uh, Superman to Clark Kent's is uh, Christopher Reeve doing it. Oh, the one when he goes to Lois's apartment and he can just like see his face, he just like straightens up and then he's well, there's Superman just a couple, and he there's just punches a couple over. Of them, yeah, where he does that switch of just how different Superman to Clark Kent really is. They do it a couple of times in the comics as well, to explain yeah. it away. The weirdest ones are in the early days in like the Silver comics, where like they'd say like he kind of uses like a super hypnosis yeah, to make that's... everyone yeah when I get really weird about it but I know there was one in more modern comics which was just like you know he, he slouches like a couple of inches to make himself shorter he slouches and, he wears, and wears baggy clothes yeah he wears baggy clothes so that the muscles aren't like but then I there's think... that whole thing in identity crisis as well where they found out that um, whenever the villains found out who the identities were they mysteriously forgot them and it's because the Justice League were like wiping their memories yeah I mean there's also like the one thing that somebody pointed out is why would you think he has a secret identity because if you were Superman why wouldn't you just be Superman all the time I mean that's the real big one that like when people that always say to me like well how comes like Lois Lane never realizes I'm like but yeah why would she why, would... <laughs> why wouldn't you be Superman all of the time yeah like if it was you wouldn't you just be Superman all of the time yeah um, my, my favorite thing is uh, I've got one for John uh, well. or, uh, for everyone in the group. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, in the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, I believe... I know John has watched at least every single episode. Probably. Watched every episode, but watched lots of them. Not every episode, but quite a few of them. Okay. How many times does Spider-Man physically punch someone in the, co in, in the, in the TV show? Across oh, the wow. entire animated series. I'm going to guess zero. He's always like tying them up though, isn't he? He's never physical with it. He's always like tying them up with the thing. 100% John was right. It is zero times. Because I know uh, that he kicks people a lot. Uh, no, it's not even a case of that. Uh, censors deemed it was too violent if Spider-Man was to punch people. Um, and I, I guess by extension kick people. So every time, if you go back and watch the 90s show, because when I found this out, I was like, no way can this, this be true. But literally every single fight he gets into ends up in one of two ways. He either webs them and stops the fight immediately because they're just normal people. Oh shit. Uh, or, or if it's a bigger bad guy and they get in a bit more of a fight, they end up having like a, a wrestling brawl where they just do like wrestling grappling moves at each other for a bit. <laughs> huh. Well, that's the in the 60s Batman series, the Adam West Batman series, like Batgirl never punched anyone, she always kicks them. Interesting. That is true, she, Batman, Batgirl never punched anybody, she's always like kicking them. I think for similar uh, reasons. Uh, I also can tell, like the other fun thing about like the Spider-Man one in particular is, is it has been pointed out in the comic books that like, you know, he has to pull his punches because he's just so strong. That's um, the thing about Superman as well, isn't it? So well, ripped. Yeah, but Spider-Man also, on the other hand, because he's like, he's also been pointed out in the comic books that uh, when normal people or people without powers punch him, he has to roll with the punch as if, like, you know, he's affected by the punch. Because why are we waiting here? Hey guys, oh, we're waiting for John. Hello. I, uh, I um, let me just, let me I just fell off my bike stuff. round the corner. <laughs> um, he has to roll with a punch, otherwise. He has to roll with a punch, or otherwise, like, because he's so strong that, like, they just break their fists. He's pointed out that he's had, like, bo he had a boxer punch him in a fist at one point, apparently, and he didn't, like, like flinch or roll with a punch, and the boxer broke his fist. So I'm going to get so I just in like this the idea that, that Spider I just like the idea that Spider-Man is, like, so, like, kind that he's just oh, like, wait. I'll roll with the punch. Okay, I didn't mean to actually kick you out of the car. No, I didn't. I got out. What? Are we going in? Well, I was kind of just like going to get my sniper out and have a quick look and see if I could take anyone out from here. But no. Are we ready? Okay. Punch it. Uh, I'm taking the bike. Fuck it! <laughs> Hi ho, Silver! Away! Away! Oh, there's a lot of them. 
We come with money. We come with copious amounts of bullets. I am not playing Alien Wild. Stick is not. Um, stick is not a sprint. Uh. I'm in the building. Please cease to be. Thank you for complying with our request. 